of the Ultimate Guide to G.I. Joe, 1982 to 1994. I'm currently writing the second edition, so what I wanted to do is appease all the people who have complained, and there are a lot of you, I have heard you, we are reshooting all the vehicle picks for the second edition of the Ultimate Guide. So in order to do that, I had to pillage my three or four storage areas, storage spaces, bring all my vehicles together in my garage, all my figures together in my house. Over here, what I did was I, I put some boxed uh, samples of vehicles. G.I. Joe General, there's a Vamp Pail, two pack, Night Ray, um, Mudfire Cobra Piss 2. Um, I opened this myself, and just to tell people, this is the Benny's exclusive. We know it was at other retail stores. Not a two pack of or a two-part instructions. It had instructions for the Hiss and the Mud Fighter. But oddly enough, when I look in here, we have, yeah, we have a little a little dog fight, a little treat with the dog fight. And who's the Cobra driver? That's right, it's Worms? What is, you can see his little antenna rattling around in there. Looks like they just uh, threw these in here. Dog fight seems to have an assortment number on the back, but the Worms doesn't. Um, really, really curious packaging job having worms piloting or driving the Hiss 2. But I did open that myself. Um, I don't know why I brought a Shadow Loot headquarters box other than that's the Street Fighter stuff after the G.I. Joe line was over. And the funny thing is, I've always been fascinated by this box because take a look at the Street Fighter figures. Yeah, you have Ryu and Balrog and who's they never made him into a figure? Hey, they never made Cammy into a figure. They never made a lot of these into figures for the G.I. Joe line. So I always thought this was this was an interesting kind of variation because this fortress is the 1992 headquarters done over again. Might be worthy of a pick in the book. Probably isn't. G.I. Joe train set box. We're probably going to set this up. I have one complete. Um, Cobra Missile Command headquarters. Um... When I got this, this was sealed. Headquarters Command Center box. Just some vehicles. I know I didn't put, I don't think I put the space capsule in the last book. I wanted to come out for here for a couple days and assemble all the vehicles so I can run them into the dining room of my house where we're setting up and then uh, run them right back out. Um, for reference, <clears throat> when I assemble the vehicles, I have all the vehicle blueprints. Steel Brigade, the rare patch and hat. G.I. Joe, the booklet for the trading cards. Um, I have to organize this stuff tonight. Over here we have the um, club exclusive kits that you can mail away for. Um, the Sears Missile Command Headquarters little uh, file collar card holder. The three original mailer boxes for Duke, Major Blood, and Cobra Commander. Um, other random paperwork that needs to be put away, the two, the Mobat um, battery warning and the turret note, rampage note, um, I think we have a listen and fun tripwire sitting here, a rapid fire sitting here, uh, target hit and run, I had an extra file card so I could show the back easily, ultimate enemies, Tomax and Zamot on their card. Some action packs that I still have to put labels on. I won't take the Battle Gear accessories out of the packs. Um, I have some carded figures here. I hope. Or I did. Yeah, there's a, a box of carded figures. They have a lot of the mail away forms that be, need to be organized tonight. <clears throat> and there's a flash. Rapid Deployment Force um, Pocket Patrol Pack. Some um, prototype sketches of Hama's Fury Force. Some Hasbro in-house stuff for Slaughter's and Marauders, Hall of Fame and DEF, Mailway Sergeant Slaughter, Mission Brazil set, more carded figures. Um, I have some Action Star cereal boxes that I'm going to put together for the shot for the uh, Starduster exclusive. Up here, we have some of the flying vehicles. That's the Alpha for the um, RC Crossfire, the Deltas kicking around on the other side. Um, everything in here is complete. And assembled, and I don't think I'm missing anything. I even have a little tube for the for the alpha. Um, yes, I do have the um, little not viewfinders. What do you call them? 
the um, lenses for the searchlights on both of the um, Moray hydrofoils or the Night Ray and Moray. A um, couple pterodromes just to have one in the back. Uh, they're both complete. G.I. Joe headquarters. I have like three or four of them and I kit bashed. The best possible one, no broken clips, really mint stickers. G.I. Joe General, um, really pristine because I bought that in a sealed box a few years back. Um, the 82 headquarters, the 92 headquarters here, a couple fangs, um, a bunch of different variations of the Manta. Um, mailer boxed and mint in baggy and I think we have some battlefield <clears throat> um, accessories. We've got the uh, outpost defender back there, the whirlwind, um, bomb disposal, transportable tactical battle platform. Yes, it is complete with all five guns. How do I know? I had them on the sprues and I took them off myself after I took the picture. Um, this is the MBT, a couple Jeeps, some sear stuff, no broken flags on the stun, have an extra one for backup. Variant mail away pack rats, sorry. Regular pack rats, variant mail away pack rats. Um, for some of the the mail away exclusives, if you look very closely, you'll you look like you'll look at the original ones are a lighter color green. The mail away ones are a much darker color green. I hope that you can get that. Um, but I have a couple extra sets of the um, remote controls just in case. Uh, the regular version of the vamp. Um, I had to replace the gun turret recently simply because it was getting a little worn. A couple MMSs. Going down the Armadillo, the Night Force, Triple T, Night Raider, um, ASP, uh, another series exclusive, SMS. Night Force, um, you know, Slugger, stuff like that. Down here we have a Defiant. I'm going to have to work a little bit on the stickers, I think, tomorrow night. Maybe we'll shoot the Defiant on, um on Sunday because I'd really like to dust this down and, and dress it up a little bit better. Um, but those are a couple extra vehicles. I don't know why I have two of those extra stupid Ninja Force vehicles. I think I got them because I was missing the blueprints and they were like five bucks by it now. Battle Force uh, <clears throat> 2000 vehicles. Hey, that Future Fortress was something the way it snapped right together. Um, uh, Sky Patrol Havoc. Oh, a couple uh, couple Destro vehicles on this table, the Brawler, two of the assembled Ninja Force vehicles, the, um, I don't even want to talk about this. Um, over here, my, one of my favorite Joe play sets, the Toxolab play set. I know it's silly, I know it looks ridiculous. I have a sealed boxed one somewhere, I don't know where the hell it is. I know if you're not a G.I. Joe fan, all of this is going over your heads. Checkpoint Alpha with the clipboard, I have a backup clipboard just in case. One of the Rams, Shark, um, Chad and I were just talking about this. If you look on the back of your snake armor, whether blue or white, you'll notice that each snake comes with an insert stand whoop, and four attachments for the armor on the arms. There are two peg holes on the back of the snake. Guess what goes there? That's right, the extra two attachments that it's not using. Um, you know, a bunch of Cobra and Joe white vehicles. I've always liked those. Another Ram. One of the two um, jetpack jumps that I have. One of the few swamp fires. I think I have two equalizers. Do I have two of them? Yeah, I have two of these. One of them has a broken antenna. I don't want to know why I have two. I think I bought one of these mitten sealed box for like, I think it was $39.99 two or three years ago. A couple assortments. This was a big debacle before the book. I. Uh, I looked at my Python ASP that's kicking around and it is in disastrous shape. Stickers are crappy, everything about it was crappy. And if you look in the first edition of the Ultimate Guide, guess what? It's missing the blast shields that go on the arm. So, of course, two weeks ago, I ordered a mint loose complete Python ASP online. And guess what? He threw it in a priority mail flat rate box with newspaper, didn't remove the easily lost pieces, and one of those is chipped. That pisses me off. If you're an eBay seller and you sell G.I. Joe vehicles and you're charging a couple extra bucks for handling on top of shipping, wrap up your vehicles because it may be going into a person who, who really takes care of their collection.